All right, boys, welcome back to another video. Here today, I got you guys. I'm gonna be helping you with something really quickly and just walking you guys through something really important regarding Aizawa. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are sad currently because you might not be able to make it, but I have a little bit of good news and at least try and help out some of you or at least point you in the right direction to try and finish up these challenges and even just provide you a little bit of a solution that might help you or it might not. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you again so, so much for all the support. At the time of recording, we're at 6.3K and before, you know, I uploaded my last video, we were at 5.9K and now we're at, I don't even know. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. On this video, let's see if we can crack a solid 500 likes. This is the highest like goal I've said. Somehow, in my last two videos, you cracked to a thousand likes, which is what? It's insane. Thank you so, so much. But again, here today, I know you guys are pretty depressed. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me in my comment section, damn, bro, I don't know if I'm going to make it for Aizawa. It's not looking too good for me. And all of those type of comments I have been receiving. And if you've already received Aizawa, congratulations. You guys are uh, you guys are legendary. I still don't understand how people have already made SS uh, with free to play. It does require a lot of RNG. So either you've gotten really lucky or, you know, I don't know, your summons just went really well for you overall. Yes, I am pretty close with some of my characters. And yes, it has been a really hard grind. I will tell you now, I have until the 8th to go and do it. So overall, this is a free-to-play account too for anyone wondering. There were a few comments saying, bro, you're wailing and you're still doing that bad. No, I am currently free-to-play, right? I'm not spending any money in the game and I have this many characters. I have this much XP. I have until the 8th to complete my challenges on this account. On my other account, it's a little harder to record with because it doesn't connect properly. I always leave that elsewhere, so that's why I don't use that account practically. That isn't a free to play account as well. I just started this account on the side to reroll for Momo because on that account, I haven't pulled an S still, right? I haven't pulled an S unit, right? I don't have Momo. I don't have Bakugo, Todoroki. I don't have All Might or Tokoyami. On that account, I've had no luck, right? I have nothing. Uh, overall, the only thing I've pulled are practically extra Manettas and extra Dekus, right? That's really it. Not very good luck over there, so that's why I don't really use that account. I'm trying to main this account, and hopefully I can get somewhere with this one. So I don't have to use that one because I don't know why, but I have no luck on that account. It's pretty depressing. I went officially today, right? Today will mark my seventh multi on the All Might banner with not a single good unit. And really, when I say this now, I've only pulled two A units from the guaranteed, not even one to reset my guarantee. You know what? I don't even know why. I just have bad luck. But again, level 80 has already been accomplished. I already told you guys that that is the challenge that is the easiest. You will be able to complete it. You don't have to worry about it. All you got to do is farm daily, do all daily XP challenges, do all of that. Make sure you guys are taking care of what is it, the third food or the fourth food, uh, you know, stage. Make sure you guys go into those ones because you will need food. Without food, you will not be able to complete these challenges, right? If I go over here to supply, I go over here to this uh, the first one with Deku. These are the two you should go and complete. If you were to beat them, you get so, so, so much food. And yes, food is going to be a big problem that will hold players back. Let's say you do everything correctly, but now you got to go and level up six characters. First of all, you need a lot of money to do that. Second of all, you need a lot of food to do that. So make sure before you get to that stage, you have so much food that you're stacked up that you can go and complete that challenge. Now, for everyone that has been scared, everyone that's like, yo, if I don't pull it, is it the end for me? Am I screwed over? There is one thing. Yes, it's going to come back on a banner. With that being said, let's say you're like me and, you know, it does come to the possibility that you are not able to pull All Might, right? If you miss out on both of those units, what will happen is your pity from All Might will carry over to the Aizawa banner, which I believe will be down the line within a month. 100% they're going to probably drop it for all the players that weren't able to achieve it. And yes, I am really hoping, you know, you know, the devs actually drop something or at least maybe a few summons here and there, maybe a free, uh, you know, amount of uh, hero cor or currency, some free regular tickets, not even all my tickets, just regular tickets so that people can get to an SS character. The only thing that is holding everybody back is the RNG fact of things, right? Let's say you are super unlucky and you don't get eight characters. Those duplicates that you try and pull from the banners help you so, so much in trying to go and, you know, SS a character. Right now, I will tell you, and I'm going to be honest with you, I am one third of the way there getting my Osui all the way to SS. The only thing is I have to get lucky and pull more Osuis from these banners because, again, the Osui challenge requires 1,500, uh, what is it, uh, what is it, BP. And I'm currently at like 11K on a Momo, right? So I'm going to have to continue grinding to get my Momo a little bit stronger to beat that stage. She's almost there. She just has to, you know, get a little bit more attack uh, in to complete the entire thing. But overall, most of the characters are very hard to go and get, you know, shards for or dupes for. 
That is why I'm hoping, at least before the end of this event, that code system that I mentioned on a previous video, I'm hoping they can actually implement that properly and drop a few, you know, 100 coins maybe altogether. They give us 1,000, you know, 2,000 coins. I know I'm asking for too much with that, but maybe they give us a few more hero summons on the side instead. Yes, with this latest update, we did get a few. We got seven with the regular, you know, puzzle game over here somewhere. Uh, over here in Intercept Season, we got like seven uh, multis or seven regular summons. Imagine seven multis. Holy crap. And then we got the Mount Lady event. Don't get me wrong. I'll take every free coin we get. But they could have at least gave you an extra 50 so you can at least do a single on the All My Banner or any banner. Overall, 200 coins will not even get you a, a regular single, right? It doesn't get you anything. You'll have to go and put another 50 coins on top of that. Overall, though, it's been very dry with coins. They've really been, you know, holding back on giving us them. I don't know why that is the case, but overall, with the game, it's a little bit, a little bit hard to grind. Co-op battle doesn't give you much anymore because, you know, you go against people with like 90,000 BP. Then it comes to, you know, rank battle. The problem with that is the ping just like shoots up when I play it. So overall, I don't have that many methods of getting coins anymore, which is depressing. But hopefully, before the end of the All Might banner, which is again, the ninth, that is when the banner leaves, I'm hoping that I can at least pull All Might. Overall, on that account, I'm six multis in or seven multis down bad. Haven't got them yet. I'm currently on my, my 75th pity. Right now on this account, I'm in my 35 pity, not anything close to the 100 mark. So let's say I don't get All Might here. There is still hope for me. I might be able to go and get Aizawa in the next you know, two week time. So again, this ends in seven days, then you have another two week time period. If Aizawa is the next banner, right? Then I'll have a chance to pull Aizawa. And on top of that, I'll have a chance to get Aizawa to an SS tier because I'll have 60 extra, you know, or 70 extra. Oh uh, no, actually 80 extra shards on top of that. I'll just have to find a way to get 10 more shards for him. And then I'll have an SS Aizawa, which is pretty nice. For the people that haven't already pulled Aizawa or at least got an All Might from the banner, overall, there is still hope for you. Even if you don't get Aizawa by the end of the update and you don't get All Might, what's gonna happen is we do expect the banner to join soon, right? When it does join, your pity will carry over and hopefully on the next banner, you do pull your you know wanted unit. Let's say it is in fact Aizawa, that is who you want. Then when you go and get that banner and you do pull Aizawa, you will have a chance to go and SS him as well. Because first of all, an SS Aizawa will be insane. You'll have 80 of the shards from the regular challenges that you went and completed. The only one you're gonna be missing is the SS challenge, right? So overall, there is hope for you to go and pull Aizawa again. And there is hope for you to make your Aizawa literally broken because yes, you were able to go and you know, miss out on All Might. You were able to miss out on your first actual, you know, 10 extra shards to build up that copy. But I will say that you still have hope. You don't have to worry. I know it's gonna suck. It's not the best of everything it could have been. Yes, it was the best, you know, option, the best alternative there is to everything is you pull All Might and you pull Aizawa. But with the, you know, when we slowly approach that entire end goal or we slowly approach like the entire timing of an ending, we slowly realize, yeah, we're kind of screwed. You know, you finally understand, yeah, man, I have to get this many shards in this much time. I don't think it's going to happen currently, right? At the time of recording, I'm on the 30th. You might be on a different day or time zone or whatever you might be on. But what this means is we only have the 31st of May. We only have the 1st of June, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Not even the 4th because the 4th doesn't count. It ends at 5 a.m. or 8 a.m. my time, right? So the day doesn't reset, technically speaking. So we only have four more days, right? Hear me out. Let me say this again. Four more days to go and pull Aizawa. Maybe. I'm just hoping they at least extend the days a few more. We did have server problems for like three hours on one of the days. That's not enough to, you know, warrant an extension. But maybe they at least throw in some more multis, throw in some coins here and there, some freebies over the next four days. Otherwise, most of us will walk away with no Aizawa. It will suck miserably. But again, for all of you guys that will encounter that problem, there is, you know, silver lining in that you will be able to pull Aizawa on the next banner. And you will be very close with that pity, right? If you're unlucky and you get him on your first thing when you get over to the next pity, boom, you're happy, you've moved on, and you have a chance to get him SS just by pulling a few more shards here and there. Overall, though, again, as I said before, it is not the best alternative there is. Yes, you can walk away with All Might. You might have already gotten him. Yes, you can walk away with another Aizawa. That is amazing for all of you guys that have done that. Congratulations. But again, there are people that haven't had that luck or haven't gotten to that chance to get it. And yes, I am one of those persons. So if you are looking for someone that, you know, is currently down bad with you, I'm there for you. Overall, though, I hope this video gave you a little bit of hope and I hope I was able to help you out a little bit more with the challenges. Again, just make sure you guys grind up at the level 80. It's very simple. Do your XP things, do everything, do your dailies, grind up the XP and make sure you go and spend your stamina all the way until like the four mark, right? You're going to continue this until you spend four at least minimum, right? So altogether, it should say six out of 10 times remaining for the day. 
If you are down bad and you missed a few days, you will have to go with two more into it. But yeah, that's been the video. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, notifications on. Hopefully, I did help you, as I said before. But there you go. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Best of luck on your grinds. And I really hope all of you guys can get it. Hopefully, you guys can go and comment down below. Let me know where you are. I will try and respond back to every comment and help you guys accordingly. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I am out.